Right, uh, I'm now going to explain how to play Blame It on the Boogie by Michael Jackson, a classic disco number. Um, starting off with the verse, then I'll go through the, the chorus groove, uh, there's a kind of middle eight or bridge section, and uh, a little breakdown as well. Um, starting from the verse, um, it's a pretty straightforward groove with a little uh, quirk that we're going to play a snare together with the floor tom on the two of every bar. Uh, also, there's an open hat sound on the four and of every second bar in the verse, apart from the first verse where the hi hats stay closed throughout. Okay, uh, so the first groove sounds something like this. That's what you've got there. Um, at the tempo of the song, uh, you get... And so on and so forth. That's your verse. Remember, no open hat on the very first verse. Um, the intro is very similar, it has a slightly different bass drum pattern. Uh, you can listen to the song and you'll be able to hear what's going on there, but also has the uh, open hat sound there. Right, next we've got the chorus, and uh, on the recording you'll notice that there's a very loud uh, tambourine that's playing 16th throughout the song, um, and although the drummer is playing an 8th note groove on the, the chorus as well as the verses, um, I quite like playing 16ths on the hi-hat uh, to, to lift it up a little bit if I'm uh, playing with a small band and there's not somebody uh, banging away on a tambourine. Um, so um, I'm, I'm going to show the two versions of that. Uh, the first version of the chorus is, is what's played on the recording, uh, an eighth note groove. The hi-hat opens on the forehand of every bar, and you can still hear the floor tom in there. Um, when we go over to do the, the 16th note uh, version, uh, it's not very practical to play the floor tom and you need an extra arm really to do it properly, so uh, we lose that. So uh, first and foremost, the eighth note groove for the chorus of the song goes something like this. Okie dokie. So now, uh, again, it's up to you which version of the chorus you want to play, um, but I'm going to play the way I do it with the, the 16s and the hi-hat, it goes something like this. slightly screwed up the first hi-hat opening there, you get the idea. Um, okay, so that's the chorus taken care of. Uh, you'll notice there aren't any fills in the chorus really, you want to just focus on getting it to feel good, and not worry about um, flubbity bum all over the place. So um, after the chorus, uh, well, sorry, after the, the second chorus, there's a, a middle eight section or, or a bridge section, uh, call it what you like, really I've got into fights. Uh, for people about this, um, but in, in the middle eight or bridge, um, we've got a little bit of a horn accent which happens on the three and and the four E, and the, the drummer follows that by accentuating on the bass and the hi hat, and uh, maybe just digging in the stick a little bit or even just slightly loosening up uh, the foot on the hi hats. Um, we've still got the floor tom on the two, um, and it, it sounds something like this.
Yeah, so I'm kind of accenting that on the hi-hat. Uh, I'm just slightly loosening my foot on the hi-hats. Yeah, just a little dig in the hi-hat there. Okay, so that's the middle eight section. Then um, it goes back into the chorus, and then we've got sort of four bars of a breakdown, which is basically the riff that they play on the intro. And here, um, you could definitely go to sixteenths on the hi-hat, and the bass is playing on the two and four. Um, if you can remember not to play a crash at the beginning of this section, and then we just end up with... So on, just like that. You can just um, accentuate a little bit to give it some uh, flavour. If you listen to the recording, you can hear the pattern that they're um, playing some kind of overdub hi hat by the sound of it. Um, but that's all you need to know there. Um, and from this section, it goes straight into the uh, chorus, uh, you know, the outro basically, where it, it sort of goes into chorus and fades out. And we then have uh, open hats on all the ands in uh, typical disco. Fashion. So if you're playing out the uh, chorus um, with the eighth note variation, you, you'll end up with this. Um, in the sixteenth uh, variety, it sounds like this. There you go, uh, that should give you everything you need to know in order to play the grooves for the song. Uh, you can work out what the fills are, they're all pretty straightforward, um, 16th note fills around the kit, um, just have fun with it.